good afternoon children today we will start this new poem the name is out of the morning and this is written by emily dickinson so in this poem you can see that there is standing a girl a small girl and in this poem when we get into the poem you will get to know that the girl she is wondering she is thinking about what is called a day what is called a morning okay and if you have already gone through the poem you might have understood something so anyways let's get into the poem now so the poem starts with will there really be a morning is there such a thing as day could i see it from the mountains if i were as tall as they so in the first stanza the girl in the first of all let me tell you in the whole poem <clears throat> the girl she questions about the existence of the morning of the thing called day so firstly she ask that will there really be a morning or is there even such a thing which is called day does it even exist is there such a thing like morning or day and if it is there then where it is and you can see she is a very small girl so that's why she ask that if i were as tall as the mountains so standing upon that could i see it could i see the morning or the day if i stand on the mountains the next stanza she says has it feet like water lilies has it feathers like a bird is it brought from famous countries of which i have never heard so again in the next stanza in the second stanza she questions about the appearance of the morning or day how does it look like does it has feet okay does it have feet like water lilies have or morning or day it has feathers like a bird she questions she thinks about it she questions does it have feathers like a bird can it fly or is it brought from famous countries of which this girl she has never heard so in the first stanza she had questioned about the existence does it even exist and in the second stanza she questions about the appearance of the morning or day how does it look like or is it brought from any other place okay and then in the last stanza she <coughs> says o oh, some scholar o oh, some sailor o oh, some wise man from the skies please to tell a little pilgrim where the place called morning lies and then in the last stanza she requests she addresses some people some wise people some people who know a lot like scholar who knows a lot a sailor okay who sails a ship that means a person who moves from one place to another or another person a scholar who has a lot of knowledge about places about many things and if not even they then some wise man from the skies okay from the skies she addresses some wise people to tell a little pilgrim 
pilgrim is one such person who goes on a journey of worship okay to tell her that where the place called morning lies so at last she addresses many such people a scholar a sailor some wise men or any pilgrim those who would uh, travel from one place to another or those who had uh, who would have knowledge about various places so that they could tell her where is this morning where is the place called morning or where is the place morning situated so this is all about the poem and lastly you can see the poem is written by emily elizabeth dickinson okay so basically this poem is uh, about the imagination of a small girl she imagines she thinks about the existence of day what is this day what is a morning she thinks about it she imagines about it and to know her answer that if it even exist or if if, uh, if it exists then how does it look like or from where is it brought so for that she questions uh, about the appearance about the existence and at last she requests some people to tell her where is this morning situated so this is all about the poem hopefully you have understood so that's all for today thank you